Hello everyone, this is Bradley Wistance. You might notice this is not Kerbal Space Program, but Besiege. If you like Kerbal Space Program and haven't checked Besiege out yet, I highly recommend that you do so. Now anyone who's played Besiege for a significant amount of time has probably built at least one catapult, but this catapult will have some unique features that set it apart from the rest. I've started out by bringing some totally unwarranted destruction down upon the Duke Steer freighters. Before I cause any more carnage, I'm going to go over the design points of this machine. In the past, I've mostly relied upon ballistas for shooting projectiles, and in many ways, ballistas are the best approach. You can turn up the power as much as you want and get a higher muzzle velocity with ballistas without tearing your craft apart. They are super reliable, they reload really easily, but there's no real good way to shoot bombs using them. If you keep the barrel, you run into reliability issues where the bomb contacts the edge of the barrel, and if you do away with the barrel, it becomes almost impossible to reload quickly. Therefore, I think there's good room to use a catapult to shoot bombs, and I think it's the best way to do it. Like Kerbal Space Program, Besiege is best when instead of building just to beat the missions, you build for your own objectives. There's no real reason to launch something crazy far, but it's a fun thing to do. My objectives for this were to make it campaign legal, to fire long range, to fire reliably, and to reload quickly. Other than that, I wanted to make it reasonably quick, reasonably maneuverable, and I wanted to give it as much ammo as possible. This first clip on the barren wasteland shows the machine's ability to reload and fire quickly. I was surprised to find that when the release angle was high, the bombs actually cleared the plateau. Here we see the reloading mechanism for the catapults. When the catapults are fired, a grabber is released next to the catapult and a piston pushes the next bomb into place. In front of that, a winch system will then push the next bomb into the reloader. After the first bank of ammo is depleted, the next set is dropped in from the top with pistons, and after that, the next set is brought in from the side with hinges. Between each set of bombs, the winch is backed up to the beginning of the track to allow you to push the next set. I did not originally intend to armor this machine, but found that it needed the extra weight to stay on the ground while firing. I also found that, in this mission, if you do explode, you instantly win. The design of the catapult itself allows you to fire in a wide range of angles, including downward in front of you, and to my surprise, in back of you as well. In combination with the mobility and maneuverability of this machine, it turned out to be surprisingly effective in close quarter combat. And on the subject of completely useless things, it fires perfectly well in both directions at the same time. And of course, no video of a shooting machine would be complete without hunting all the statues in the sandboxes. One of the nice things about this machine is that if you do miss, you can just keep on firing until you don't. I, of course, would, um, would never miss a shot or need a second attempt. Anything in this video that looks like a missed shot was, of course, intentional. And, of course, we couldn't miss out on showing some love to our old friend over at the old sandbox. The first hit was actually a hit on the pillar in front of him, so I tried again to get it a direct hit. After getting that out of the way, it was time to move on to more important things, such as discovering if I was, in fact, King of the Britons. To finish things off, I decided to head over to the old sandbox and see if I could lift the heavy boulders there. I was surprised to find that I could actually throw them just enough to clear the craft itself. That will be a wrap for this video. I will include a link to Besiege downloads in the description for anyone who wants to download the machine, and there will be instructions and controls there if you want to use it. If you loved the video and want to see more Besiege, please let me know in the comments. If you didn't, you can write me by mail at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue, Washington, D.C. 20006. Thank you, and keep in touch.